X Jimmy is refining their projector lineup with a new upgraded version of their portable workhorse. The X Jimmy Halo Plus keeps a very similar overall design and feature set as the older model we got to review last year, but it's now brighter and has some more intelligent features that make it easier to use. But that all does come at a price. So let's dive in and take a look at the X Jimmy Halo Plus. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys, and today we're taking a look at the X Jimmy Halo Plus. So first off, let's just run down some of the quick specs. Resolution on this portable projector is 1920 by 1080. It can do up to 900 ANSI lumens as measured by X Jimmy. It has two 5 watt Harman Kardon speakers built in, operates with Android TV 10, can support HDR 10. It has auto focus, auto keystone correction, auto screen alignment, 3D support, a battery life of a little over two hours, and comes in at $850. And this is an updated version of the older Halo, and visually the only difference between the older model and this new Halo Plus is the position of the sensor on the front. Now located near the bottom, it's also labeled as an auto keystone rather than the autofocus of the older Halo. But otherwise, the Halo Plus is nearly identical to its older counterpart. Up top, there is the X Jimmy logo along with a small LED light and a few touch capacitive controls for play and pause as well as controlling the volume. On the back, the projector has all the ins and outs. So we have the DC barrel plug in, 3.5 millimeter headphone out, HDMI in, USB A in, and the power button. And on bottom, the Halo Plus has the same small kickstand to adjust the viewing angle and a threaded mount for placing the projector on a stand. Since this is designed to be a portable projector, there are quite a few image adjustments that can be made to dial in the picture in multiple viewing situations. And the Halo Plus features some improvements over the older model with an auto obstacle detection, auto keystone correction, and of course, auto focus. So if it is aimed at a wall with a picture on it, the Halo Plus will detect that obstacle and adjust the image to avoid it. So it will just be projecting on the blank wall. And likewise, if there is a screen within view, the projected image will adjust itself to fit the frame quite accurately in my experience. But if the projector is having trouble adapting to a screen or just needs some you know, fine tuning and tweaking, there are manual adjustments, including that four point adjustment keystone correction like we saw on the older Halo. And because of that four point adjustment, the projector can be offset by up to 40 degrees horizontally, which makes it possible to use the projector in some tough positions. Placing it off to the side also helps to get it out of the way for like people standing up or kids walking in front of it. And I used the projector in combination with X Jimmy's portable stand to get the projector in a good spot for testing. So moving on to video quality, topping the specs of the portable X Jimmy Halo Plus is that 1080p resolution and 900 ANSI lumens. One note that maximum brightness is only usable when the projector is plugged in, and once it's unplugged, the brightness goes down a little bit. But when used outside or at night in a dark room, the X Jimmy Halo looks great. The full HD image is sharper than more affordable portable projectors like the Nebula Capsule 2 by Anchor. And I was testing it on the Elite Screens Sable Frame 2, which is a 100 inch screen that features a cine white material and a gain of 1.3. And in the dark, the Halo Plus looks great on that screen. When there is light coming in from the windows or all the lights are turned on in the basement, it does start to look dim and washed out, but you know, really that's to be expected. But with the lights off, I found the projected image to be plenty bright and plenty colorful for me as well to really enjoy movies down here while watching. And X Jimmy does have a few different image modes built into the Halo Plus. I often used it with a custom profile, ensuring that the motion smoothing feature was turned off, but you know, adjusting the white balance can sometimes be helpful, but I didn't really find much of a need to play with the color. I was pretty happy with the image directly out of the box. And like many of X Jimmy's other products, the Halo Plus has a game mode that sports a lower latency at 26 and a half milliseconds. For me, this is fine for playing more casual games and racing games like Forza Horizon 5, but for competitive shooters and FPS games, it's still a little bit too laggy for me. And like the older model, swapping into that game mode negates some of the advanced image adjustments like that four point correction. And for audio, the Halo Plus has the same two 5 watt Harman Kardon speakers built in. For a portable projector, they're really pretty great. With that 3.5 millimeter audio out though, it's easy to listen on some headphones or connect another sound system to this projector. These internal speakers will get plenty loud to fill a room, making it great for a portable option. And the projector can also be used as a Bluetooth speaker. 
When plugged in, because it can get a little bit brighter, the fan noise is audible from the projector, but it was never overwhelming for any media that I watched. When unplugged, that fan noise does get lower though, so you can listen at quieter levels if you want to. So unlike the AXA M7, fan noise was never an issue with the Halo Plus. Check out our review up here in the corner if you want to hear what I'm talking about. Using Android 10, the HDMI Halo Plus is fairly intuitive when it comes to navigating menus. There's a home screen that displays all of your apps and will even suggest media to play next. Most items can be customized and moved around, so they're easier to find. The favorite apps can also be swapped out to get quick access to the ones that are most used. And while the Halo Plus does support Disney, Hulu, uh, HBO Max, you know, most of the big names natively on Android 10, unfortunately Netflix is still a little bit of a workaround to get it to work. You have to install the desktop manager and then install Netflix through that. And it's just not as seamless of an experience as, you know, watching some of the other streaming platforms, but thankfully you can still use it. Of course, you could also connect a Roku or a streaming or, you know, a gaming system, something else to stream media through as well. And the remote features a Google Assistant button so you can use your voice to search for shows or other media. And battery life is also pretty impressive on the XGIMI Halo Plus. After about 1 hour and 45 minutes of streaming Netflix, the screen darkened as a low battery warning came up, and then the projector shut off completely after about 2 hours and 20 minutes. And overall wrapping up here, if all that sounds pretty impressive, you know, that does come at a price. The XGMI Halo comes in at that $850 price point. For that price though, the Halo Plus is brighter than more affordable projectors like that Anchor Nebula Capsule 2. The smart image adjustments features also make it more capable and incredibly easy to set up. If you want to go for the older model, you can still get a lot of the same functionality, just, you know, it's not as easy to use and not quite as bright, but that only saves you $50 at $800 for the original Halo. Or if you don't need the portable nature of the projector, check out XJimmy's Elfin projector. With that same 1080p resolution and 800 ANSI lumens, it's packing a lot of the same features for just $650. And then if you do end up wanting to take it with you, you could always just use a portable power station like one from Jackery. Or if you really want to take your home projector experience to the next level, check out our review of the XJimmy Aura Ultra Short Throw Projector. And I'll put links to those down in the description. And that'll wrap it up for our review of the XJimmy Halo Plus. Let us know what you think about it down in the comments below. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.